After nearly a, a week of chaos with Southwest Airlines and thousands of canceled flights and even more upset travelers, operations at the Dallas-based airline returned to normal today. Jack Fink is live at Love Field. Jack, first, if you could kind of describe for us what it's like there at Love compared to what you saw, especially at the beginning of the week. Well, Jason, earlier this week, we saw the TSA security checkpoint here at Love Field was empty. Now you can see there have been small lines here, and it's looked like this all day. FlightAware says only 43 flights nationwide were canceled today, about 1% of the schedule. Compare that to about 60% of the airline's flight schedule canceled before today. Also today, we learned that Southwest top executives weren't on a call with members of Congress who wanted to speak with them about the mass cancellations. And they include Colin Allred and Jake Elsey, who is a former pilot for Southwest. For the first time this week, Southwest Airlines accelerated its flight schedule, and loyal customers Silvana and Buck Britton are relieved. So far, today has been good. We're hoping that it remains good. Thousands of people couldn't spend Christmas with their families after their flights were canceled, in some cases, multiple times. Southwest's reputation with customers and some members of Congress took a public relations hit. Democrat Colin Allred and Republican Jake Elsey tell CBS 11 that the airline CEO, Bob Jordan, and executive vice president, Andrew Watterson, weren't on a Zoom call they had with airline executives Thursday. Uh, Bob was not on that call, and uh, to be honest with you, I expressed that I thought he should have been. Because we had multiple members of Congress on this call, multiple members of the Texas delegation. We actually want Southwest to be better because it's an incredibly important employer in our region. And I reached out to the government affairs team this morning. I said, you need to get Bob and Andrew, the COO, on the phone with everybody who's from Congress who's been out there. In a statement to CBS 11, a Southwest spokesman said, quote, we thank the Texas delegation for their time yesterday. Simultaneously, Bob and Andrew were participating in a media session with national reporters. Our teams will continue to engage with elected officials and their partners in D.C. in the coming days and weeks. Southwest CEO told ABC they will update the airline's aging infrastructure that led to this week's mass cancellations. We already had a, a, a great plan to invest in uh, tools and technology and processes, as we always do, but there'll be a lot of lessons learned. Congressman Allred and Elsie say they want the U.S. Transportation Secretary to make sure Southwest honors its promise to compensate impacted passengers. Do you both believe that Congress needs to step in with additional legislation? No, absolutely not. This is, this is a failure of one airline. We know what the problems were. They have to show that they fixed it. I agree with Jake. Uh, there's no role for us in terms of legislation to make Southwest run a better business. They say it's up to customers like the Britons. They, they always had some, some good perks, but moving forward, I'll probably be a little more skeptical when it comes to booking with them. You can see my full interview with both members of Congress on our website, cbsdfw.com. Live at Dallas Love Field tonight, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Jack.